Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to a new video. In today's video is going to be one crazy video. We are learning branch prediction algorithm of Pentium. Yes, I am sure you heard of this topic in college and you know it is there in your syllabus and you know how important it is. See the previous question papers, you know what I am talking. Uh, they love to ask this because it is one intense algorithm and also it is a very significant step in the progression of processors. Uh, pipelining. One concept that makes a processor faster. If you've seen my previous videos, if you've seen all the channels from 8086 onwards, you know what role pipelining is played. It was introduced by 8086 mid 70s, okay? But every time somebody spoke of pipelining, they always knew there's a flip side to it. Yeah, the good thing is it makes a processor fast. Bad thing is that it fails whenever there is a branch. What pipelining assumes is program will go in a sequential manner. Now you know Pentium is a very deep pipeline. It's a five stage pipeline with two pipes in it, which means effectively there are 10 instructions going on in the pipe. So the first instruction is reach the end, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth is all the way starting. Now if the first instruction towards the end decides, oh, I'm going to jump, second to tenth, all the instructions which are there in the pipes are no longer valid. All of them have to be discarded. This is called flushing of the pipes. So all of them have to be discarded. You have to go to the branch location. Let's say the jump, jump was at 2000. Go to 2000, fetch all the instructions again, put them into these whole pipes and all that effort that you had done was wasted. This is the drawback of pipelining. This is the need why they needed, why they created this algorithm. Like I always say, before you learn something, you should know why you're learning it. Yeah, if you know why this algorithm is created, uh, you enjoy learning it all the more because you know you're learning one significant thing. In those 20 years, the world that knew pipelining exists also knew that there is a huge drawback of it. Pentium threw that drawback out of the window. This algorithm, though its basic concept is sheer common sense, its implementation is huge. Okay, this is one big video. First, I'll tell you what this algorithm is. I'll tell you what's the meaning of strongly taken, weakly taken, strongly not taken, weakly not taken. There's some history bits. What, based on the bits, what will be the prediction? Based on the prediction, what will be the action? Now, that is just the first half. That's not the end of the algorithm. No, not at all. That is just the prediction. Now, the final conclusion, which comes in the execution stage. You may have predicted the branch may be taken or not taken. And in each case, your prediction may be right or wrong. So basically, there are four possibilities. Correctly predicted taken, incorrectly predicted taken, correctly predicted not taken, incorrectly predicted not taken. In each case, what is the scenario? Two of them are very good situations with no penalties because your prediction is right. Two of them are bad situations with penalties out of which one of them is a worst case scenario. But irrespective, in spite of that, this algorithm gives you even in an ordinary case, ordinary programs gives you an average success rate of more than 90%. In ideal situations like loops, which is what this algorithm is made for, for loops, you know a loop is also a branch and in the, in, if you're doing 1000 iterations, you've done 1000 branches practically, this algorithm will work 999 times. So it gives you a very high hit ratio in certain cases. So what does that mean? That whole drawback, that stigma associated with pipelining that it fails whenever there's a branch was thrown away by Pentium. And because of this, the world had the guts to further increase the level of pipelining. Pentium was a five-stage pipeline. That was Pentium 1. Then came Pentium 2, 3, 4. Pentium 4, netburst architecture, 20-stage pipeline. Now, how did they get the guts to do that? Because they had this algorithm in their background. That pipelining which will sustain branching and in more than 90-95% cases the algorithm holds true so it gives you the correct prediction. So it's one wow step in computing and one big reason why processors happen to become so fast today. Pipelining was the reason but it had its drawback. This is the algorithm that removes that drawback. Okay. So that's what we'll be learning in this video. Uh, I'll tell you one thing about this uh, topic. Okay. It's a big topic. This video is going to be end up end, going to end up becoming a 40-45 minute video. So it's going to be huge. But I'll tell you very frankly once you understand this video, once you finish watching it, you will not even have to look at the answer again. You'll straight away be able to write it in the exam. You will not have to by heart one word of it because it just flows. Even in the middle of the night, the proof, this is about what, almost four in the night that we are making this video. At any state of mind, somebody asks you the algorithm, you'll be able to say the whole thing because it's so logical. It just hits that sweet spot in the head. Anyway, so that's about it. Now, that's what we're going to do in the video. Uh, you know what I've been doing. This is an introduction. You want to watch the whole video. You want to learn the whole subject from me. Uh, please come to my website. It's www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The same name as the name of this channel without the spaces. Halfway through, Google will take you there. Now, once you come to the website, register yourself as a user. 
देर इज अ सब्सक्रिप्शन अमाउंट सिलेक्ट एन डी एम चैनल इट शो यू शो अप द सब्सक्रिप्शन अमाउंट यू कैन मेक द पेमेंट बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट फ्री दिस इज प्रोफेशनल सर्विस वी आर वर्किंग डे एंड नाइट टू गेट दिस थिंग वर्किंग सो ऑब्वियसली वी केप्ट चार्ज फॉर इट बट द चार्ज इज रिडिक्यूलसली लो इट्स वन टेन द वॉट आई चार्ज इन द क्लास रूम anyway so uh, less than that <laughs> sometimes anyway so all you need to do is make that payment and instantly your subscription will become active you can start watching the videos right away and watch them for the next 6 months i'm sure you won't need it for that long but we don't study only from exam point of view some things you want to learn them over and over again even after the come on don't tell me it's never happened that even after the exam you picked up some book just because you like the topic so much this i assure you you would want to see it again some day probably 2 3 months later just to recap and just to enjoy it because it is so interesting as an algorithm anyway anyway so you can watch the videos again and again moreover with every video there is a view pdf link there's a link given right below the video you hit that immediately a pdf open which is basically the section of my book which contains the notes for that particular video for that particular topic so you understand the topic from the video you get the notes you you we have the whole answer that you need to write in the exam because understanding is one thing and writing the answer in this video no it will not be required because this video once you understand you can write it but for other videos like architecture and all you need to know exactly what you need to write in the exam so anyway uh, all of that is there on the website we also have an app with the same name bharat acharya education it's an android app it's on the google play store either way wherever you subscribe the subscription is active for both okay hope to see you there wish you all the best do well